So when you first sign up for Samurai Seller, the first thing you're going to want to do is open up Quick Negative Matcher. This tool is gold to save you money. Um, once you check in here, what you have is the most spend you have on broad, phrase, and exact keywords, which are either over 100% ACoS or infinity ACoS, meaning no sales. And what you have in this case, so we have an ice cream scoop and the search term is brownie pan. That's an irrelevant term. Now, you could just negative exact it right here, which applies it to the add a group. But instead, you can do negative phrase or change it and say, well, pan is okay, but brownie is not okay. Okay. And say so you do that, then you apply negative phrase and it's going to apply that brownie as a term to this and you will no longer bid on that in this ad group right here. Same with this, you can say, well, container is not relevant. You change that to container, then you put negative phrase and it is done. And you go down here and you just keep going and you keep going. Now, uh, depending how big your account is, um, you might want to go down to very small clicks, like just one click when something's very, very irrelevant. You might want to just get rid of it no matter what. This will show you everything that has at least two clicks and has not generated uh, any sale or has over 100% ACoS. This is a lot of money that is being spent on a, an account of any size. You should have some time. It shows you the last click that you got it, ad group, the campaign, where it's coming from. Now this only does auto, phrase, and broad. This is where it's not similar. You can't reduce a bid or pause that search term because here the phrase is kitchen scissors, but the search term is kitchen scissors made in USA. So if you wanted to pause this or reduce the bid, you're gonna pause you're gonna pause or reduce the bid on the phrase. So for exact match, we have what's called the exact keyword pauser. Oh, and by the way, here uh, some people you know they want to be very aggressive in reducing uh, their their cost, so they'll go ahead and bulk apply. And that does a negative exact on everything on the page. You also could filter. Um, you know, for example, you can say things that have gotten at least, you know, uh, three clicks, something like that. So this is more than three clicks, right? So we have everything four clicks and up. Um, you can have greater than or equal to. Uh, greater than or equal to. So it's three and up. Uh, you can also say, you know, show me only broads. Um, we have a special button auto only because a lot of times the auto ones are extremely irrelevant. Um, you know, that's just like where this brownie pan came from. It's actually an ice cream scoop. So that's just an example of things you would want to get rid of. Okay, exact keyword pauser works the same except it pauses it. One thing to note on the exact keyword pauser uh, that you can see right here. So this one say generated 35 clicks for its lifetime and its lifetime is this ACOS. That's you know, pretty terrible. And again, this is a demo account. Um, most of the products on here are, are not very good at all. Uh, hopefully, you don't have a whole lot of these. And then this recent, uh, it should say since last change. So if there was a, a change that was done recently, uh, maybe, I mean, that's recorded in our system. So originally the bid was, let's say, $2, and then it reduce, reduces uh, the bid by a dollar. It's going to show you the performance since the last change. So you can actually see maybe it's salvageable. Um, yeah, and same thing, same folders are right there. Okay, good. So I definitely recommend do as much of this on day one as possible. Also on day one, if you have time, the next thing you're going to want to do is this keyword extractor over here. Okay, um, now before we do into keyword extractor, you're going to need to set your target ACoS for your product. So you need to go into your ad settings and set your target ACoS. You should also name your campaign. So in this case here, it is, uh, we have some tongs over here. Um, what you want to do is go down here as, let's say, any any of your main ones that you want to work on. Name this. So you want to say, like, um, you know, Tong. Uh, in this case, they're Tong. Okay. And, you know, if they're, what it is, it has the ASIN right there. Um, you can actually put the ASIN in the name if you want or whatever. But what we recommend is just identify what these are. Okay, so let me just explain to you the screen. There's the ASIN. This is the SKU. And this is the group of them. So if you're targeting, you know, three ASINs in one place, it's going to have all the ASINs that are targeted in one ad campaign together. Some cases you have variations or some people, you know, like to group a bunch of products together, um, even if they're not related for brand campaigns. 
So that's going to be like, you know, you can call it, you know, holiday products or um, gen general products. And then what that does, it just gives you an idea when you're going to do things in Samurai, you're going to group whatever ASINs you have and keep them together. So here's tongs. That's all fine. We can go ahead and set the target A cost. You want the target A cost, let's say, to be 33%. Okay, great. And then here, um, you could set this up right away, or we can set it up on the next tab. Um, we're just going to go ahead and, and click it right here. So let's say here in this tongs, right, you could look for existing campaigns. So the way that our structure uh, here is, and based on what Amazon has told us directly, where campaigns um, do best when they're grouped together with similar performing um, keywords. So in this case, we actually make three campaigns, an exact campaign, a phrase campaign, and a broad campaign. These budgets, um, yes, they're, they're actually, they're, those are correct. So you can put whatever you want. But here in the exact, it's going to create an empty bucket, just a shell campaign with exact, shell campaign for phrase, shell campaign for broad. And you'll see in the next tool, when you click one button, it's going to add an exact over here, a phrase with a negative exact, and a broad with a negative phrase. So they do not compete with each other. I do talk, tell this to people all the time. Um, and some people don't always know exactly, uh, didn't know about the strategy from before. But let's say you were bidding tongs $2 on an exact match, let's say just tongs or best tongs. And then you had a phrase match that was also best tongs because you're trying to get more keywords and a broad match, best tongs. Over here, you had it $1.50. Now, let's say at $2, it was unprofitable. You decided to bring down to $1.75, it was unprofitable. Then you brought it down to $1.25. Now, this will no longer create, um, will no longer be winning the bid because this one has a $1.50 for best tongs. So what we do is we have a negative exact over here. So the exact is the only one that should take over um, the bids and it will not compete with the phrase and give you confusing information. Okay, so if you already have exact phrase and broad for this product group, which in this case would be tongues, you would actually just find them here, select the broad ad group, select the phrase ad group, select the exact ad group. Okay, and then in both these cases, you have this setting over here. And let me tell you what that does. Uh, this is going to negative match uh, in the keyword extractor tool when you you're going to press a plus keyword button which will basically add that keyword as an exact phrase uh, with a negative exact and a broad with a negative phrase okay like i just went over but where the keyword came from you can say i want to negative match it there as well um of course if it's from wherever it's from you can get rid of it because let's say it's an auto campaign. You say, I don't want it to be bidding auto campaign. We don't recommend that. We recommend to keep it going where you, where it came from because it has a pretty good ACOS or if it did. But then we say if it's over the target ACOS. So if where you're bringing it from is over the target ACOS, we're going to go ahead and negative match it only in that scenario. Um, and that's only happens when you press the plus keyword button. Okay. And this is, this is for legacy people who have been using the tool from earlier. After you create or set up your um, campaigns from here, either the ad settings with that button that we just went over right here. Uh, if you have it done, it's going to be blue like this with viewer edit rather than creator connect. Then when you go into keyword extractor, uh, you have these magical buttons right here um, with the ones that have already been set up. So the way this works, everything is grouped by product. Okay, so if you have this product by itself, uh, say a basting brush, okay, you have the product by itself, it's going to do all the advertising and it's going to recognize keywords and search terms and all these things together as a product. Uh, the only reason that's important is if you set that up and uh, for, let's say, a group of variations, three products, it's going to just keep those three together. Or if it's one product, it's going to keep that one together. Um, specifically, when you press this plus keyword button, uh, what it's going to do is going to take this search term from the auto and right now every every auto campaign that has this is going to be connected to um, meaning if the products being advertised in the automatic campaign match this the, the campaign that you created then it's going to be connected here okay any phrase match that is exactly this um, product 
and no additional products or less products, it's going to be connected and you'll be able to move them into these three um, ad groups that we created earlier. I hope that makes sense. So if you push that button, it just automatically instantly moves it to that exact or um, when I say move, it's going to create the keyword and exact phrase uh, with negative exact and broad with negative phrase. But it's not going to actually delete it here unless it was over the target ACOS. Now, in this case, um, it has about a 1% um, tolerance. So this target, uh, this ACOS is actually a 38% and this uh, ACOS is 39%. So it did not, it's not negative matching um, the this in this auto campaign. However, for this one, if you see here, it is doing a negative phrase for cookie scoop right in this one, in the same campaign. See, this is a campaign it's coming from, okay? Uh, that's actually called, should be called source campaign. And here it's actually going ahead and put it in the auto itself, get rid of it because it's too high in this case. I hope that makes sense. Uh, this one just had a uh, lower target day cost. And so over here, it's not going to negative match, not going to negative match. But if you look at some of the higher ACOS, give an example. Over here, it has that additional negative match at the bottom. You see, if you click that button, it also does all of these and negative matches. Actually, I'll do it right here and show you. Click that one button. Uh, oh, one more thing. Since the ACOS is over your target ACOS, the exact match bid is going to be slightly less. So here it's a dollar, but over here, it's going to add it as a 91 cent. Uh, it's reducing it and then also that like, you're not currently targeting this one on for isn't broad so it's going to create those as well click that button and you say oh maybe this uh, irrelevant search term you want to match it or whatever you just ignore it and it's no longer going to show up here that's pretty easy oh yeah so i'm going to go ahead and do that okay good so this is keyword extractor and if you press this button right here you can actually see all of the ones that are not targeted exactly these are all search terms that have converted and this account is very small only 378 uh, search terms that are not being targeted exact you can literally set this up and have a bunch of new um, search terms to do and by the way if uh, part of that you know maybe you don't want to use a tool you just want to download it and have your own system for whatever reason I don't know exactly why you do that but maybe you could in analytics over here you have this converting search terms um, it'll pop up in a second here we go these are all the search terms that have made sales right here um, uh, 1,357 results. You can sort by the campaign and then you press export converting search terms and you will get a CSV file. Uh, it's basically like an Excel document with all of the converting search terms for that campaign or all converting search terms um, for the product or your whole account and then you can go ahead and do all sorts of crazy things with that. So what I recommend, like I say, first day quick negative matcher and keyword extractor as much as possible um, I do not recommend, get, you know, doing the, um, I only recommend uh, negative matching it if it's over your target ACoS. So your current campaigns have the most history, they're probably going to do best, but this will create an exact match with a slightly higher bid for the ones that have great ACoS. And that should definitely start getting some traction. If in the first, like, one to three days you do these two tools, that's actually a perfect good start. Quick, uh, quick negative matcher and keyword extractor. Then on day four, Bit Optimizer will be available and another video will cover that. But I do recommend first thing you should do, quick negative matcher, then add settings. Go ahead and set up your target ACOS uh, per product group and then go ahead and name these products. Okay, this is a test and this doesn't have a name. Um, but go ahead and do those two things, uh, quick negative matcher, set up the add settings and then do the quick uh, keyword extractor and then there will be way more training about bit optimizer and the rest of our features thank you